Uh, it has. It has. And I'm, uh, I'm ready for it. Congratulations. Thank you. You had a good run, didn't you? I, I was alright on the bottom. Yeah, cause Now that you're coming in down. What were the difficult corners today? Uh, I think uh, into this panorama turn yes. after the reset. Tell us, tell us about your run. Okay, at the bottom, at the top, I had a little mistake. There was very icy, and uh, <laughs> I get the gauge. But then I had a good run, yes. Did you seem to pick it up as you were going further on the run? Were you getting faster as you went down? No, I wouldn't say that. When you're looking at the last intermediate hand, I was two seconds before Katie, and the, the finish, I'm just only one second in front of her. And I think I'm becoming slower in the, in the last passage. But uh, the technical part, I had a good line today. I had a little bit of luck because it isn't so easy to run this course. Okay, I'm happy now. <laughs> you were the favorite. You did very well in the time trials. You are the leader. You know, you are the favorite. Okay, I'm a down specialist, you know, but I still have problems in the other disciplines. But at the moment, it was a good run, and uh, it's a nice day, and I love staying in Rizla, yes. <laughs> what Every winning is a nice uh, moment for someone, and uh, okay, this would be the first time in Canada, and uh, it's a really nice uh, uh, country. And it's a nice puppet too, yeah. Do you see, besides that you're as a reigning champion, do you ever think yourself as a reigning champion? No, I wouldn't say that. <laughs> uh, I can do well in the down, that's uh, okay, but uh, there are also other big champions, you know, Freni Schneider, Pamela Wieberg, and uh, okay. <laughs> oh, good run. Thanks. I'm real happy today. I my two training runs yesterday. Uh, I was going fast in my first run and and missed the gate and really scared myself on the course. And then the second run yesterday, I skied it uh, more to see the line, skied it a little more round so I could see my way down the course and felt confident with it after my second run. So today I went out thinking I'm going to do a combination of the two that I see the line and I go and I go stinking fast and uh, a combination of both of those uh, got me on the podium today. But there's improvement and then there's improvement. Why such a big jump ahead? Well, in uh, the first training run yesterday, I was third on the top before I missed the gate. And uh, 
I knew if I skied exactly that same way, took the same approach today and didn't try to change anything, that uh, I'd be fast on the top. And and I took some more chances than, than maybe a couple of other people. I cut the line a little tighter and I maybe tucked it out a bit more and it paid off. Did you, in your fondest dreams, think you could end up possibly in the top three? Um, well, you always, you always uh, go out wanting to win the race, and uh, I had, I had a, a feeling today it was going to be really good. I was sitting in the lodge having a, you know, having a, a snack before my run, and and I had a feeling that I was, I was going to make a, a medal podium today, and then I did. Great day for the Canadian team in general. Thanks, and I think everyone skied really well here, and, and it's wonderful to have our first World Cup race here in, in Whistler, and, and uh, we look forward to racing here again in the future. Through all the cancellation, all the threats and everything else, it, uh, I guess it all ends up well. It, it turned out really well. I think the Europeans and Americans are, are very happy with, with the course conditions and how safe it is and, and what a, a, a really good, challenging course it is here in Canada. Thanks. Thanks. <laughs> well, how'd you feel about your run today, Kate? You know, I'm really pleased with the way I'm skiing. Coming out of the top, I just really wanted to punch it, really wanted to stand on the skis, and I'm pleased with what I've done. Unfortunately, you know, coming into coaches, that was one section I really wanted to clean up today, and uh, I just got a little low in two two gates. I didn't carry any speed from the top of the course to the bottom, but, you know, i got to be pleased with the performance I put in today. Still got that confidence. You can do it. There's no question about it, right? I, I never, I never uh, lack the confidence. Uh, every race has been great for me this season. I've been in the top seven all season, so uh, you know I can't be disappointed. It's much more consistent than I've ever been. The fact that you got the race in after potential delays and whatnot, did that sort of, were you able to forget all that? You know, the first couple of days were a little bit uh, more relaxed, but I think being at home, there's so many things uh, outside of ski racing that you're handling, and maybe it was good for the Canadians to just sort of have a couple of days to, you know, sit down with the Canadian people and talk with the media and, you know, get through all that and then concentrate on our own racing. You've got to be you've got to be very happy today with Michelle's finishing. I'm really pleased for Michelle. You know she's been coming on strong all year, and we just were the cat together at the Canadian Championships. Michelle and I haven't had a break since the beginning of the season, and uh, it's been difficult. We've been pulling each other along, really supporting each other, getting us through the difficult times, getting us through the the accident that took place in Garmisch. And you know I think Michelle and I sticking together, uh, proving that we can uh, be strong as a team and, and that we can carry this into next season. Well, it's a happy day and it's a sad day. Of course, as we know, this is uh, Karen Lee's last run. You know, she's very happy. She's smiling. She's Her parents are smiling. Her mother can finally breathe again after 10 years of downhill racing. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, you know what? I'll have to bet that other dollar again on you next year, Kate. Thank you very much. I'm <laughs> sorry I didn't win anything for you today. <laughs> Thanks very much. Thanks, Karen. Your parents will have to wait. Favorite in this race, and we had a little bit of trouble. What happened? Well, it's it's a real technical course, and um, and there's some big crank returns up there, and the and the conditions aren't really that great just because they've had a tough time. The course workers have worked their butts off, and I and, you know extend a great thank you to those guys. We wouldn't have been able to even have this thing, but uh, but you know with all the rain and everything, it made it real tough to get this thing um, in as good a shape as as it as uh, we would have liked it. But um, you know I had real real fast skis today, and I was actually having trouble keeping up with them because they were so fast, and uh, my hips were just. <laughs> uh, now how did 
difficult is it to to ski a course that you really haven't seen? I mean, this you had a, basically you had two runs on it yesterday. That was about the extent of it. Well, I basically had one run on it yesterday because <laughs> I had some technical difficulties with my skis on my first run. So I basically got one run on it, and um, and I was a little bit lost today as to as to what I was going to do. I was trying to, you know, change things. And when you go into the race and you and you know you need to change a lot of things for your for your race run, it really kind of messes with your mind a little bit. So um, you know, I'm psyched. I'm psyched that I came out and skied as well as I did, and um, and it's tough, you know. And and it's good to get it to get it under my belt skiing on a new course. And um, and if we get to come back here next year or the year after, you know, I'll know it a little better and and, and be ready. So experience under my belt, it's great. So you're off to Mammoth. Yeah, we are. We're actually leaving this afternoon, for, which is kind of a bummer because I heard Whistler rocks on Sunday night, but I got to. Uh, I got work to do still, so I'm going to come back up here in the spring for the Norm Finals and um, probably celebrate my birthday up here again for the third year and uh, and and party a little bit. Peekaboo, Whistler rocks all the time. Well, I heard I heard Whistler rocks all the time, but the, but but uh, Sunday night's local night, and um, and that's what I'd like to take part.